Hey guys, Spring and Prey here, and welcome to the 33rd episode of my Let's Play of Victoria 2 as Germany. Yeah, so let's get started here. We're trying to, we're really just trying to, like, shoot the whoop and get all the way to 1900s, because that's pretty much what we're waiting for right now. Yeah, we lost a little bit of money, but now we're making more money again. All right. Of course, we make a lot of money now. We're making like 20000 a day. I've been putting down taxes, but, you know, it kind of fluctuates, so I'm just going to leave it. I mean, we made, we have 54.3 million pounds in the bank, so I don't think we're ever going to really have money issues ever again. But, you know, maybe one day. <laughs> Let's go for, uh... Limited citizenship 10%, because that's the least thing that's going to make the least amount of difference. Let's see, how are we, uh, are we still trying to sphere Belgium, or do we give up? Let's try to sphere Belgium again. I don't know why we are not. They took an alliance from us, so that's good. That'll help us get our sphere over them. The Netherlands has also fallen out of great power status. I wonder, oh, Hungary. And Imper oh, it's probably because Japan popped up really far. Well, good for them. We'll try to influence both of them again. Since we only have two people in our sphere now, anyways. Denmark and Galicia Lodmaria. Well, Poland won't be in our sphere anymore because they actually changed to Poland from Congress Poland. So they're no longer regular Poland. Apparently Russia's at war with Japan. Oh yeah, we remember. Are we paid for, we're paying for Japan's war. France has discredited us. Well, France, you are not even... You, you really want to play this game, France? Because we will destroy you. So we've been paying for Imperial Japan to have their war. Hopefully, this the payments will actually work. And they'll love us and stuff, you know? We can already do something in Belgium. That's nice. Go ahead and increase our opinion in there. Yes, okay. So let's keep going. Ooh, business banks. Alright, we're gonna support some more the conservatives, just because. I like to be, you know, uh, optimistic with my thoughts. My king, we have finished the, uh, business banks. Okay, cool. Some more throughput. Oh, we need to research some stuff. Good. Oh yeah, we've been just pumping through these commerce things, because we just have nothing else, really. So let's go ahead and get more research points, I guess. Why not? And maybe education efficiency, because that'll give us even more research points so that when 1900 comes out, we can get all the really cool techs. Let's change it to uh, spices. Spices is really good. So the historical theory should be finished by the end of this year, which is really good. We are really just going through all these things. Um, I'd rather just have... Okay, fine. I wish I could tell them to be in favor of interventionalism, because that's what I would support as a conservative, but they just, you know, they never want to be conservative. Oh well. We can build some more army units. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to build a bunch of artillery in Europe. Just because. We need more artillery, I think, in my armies. Let's see, like, let's just take a little survey here. Infantry is good. Artillery. Okay, maybe we actually need some, uh, some cav. Or more infantry, I don't know. Oh wow, look at that! Conservative Party won? Holy sh... really? Wow, the conservative voter ideology has actually been taken over? What? Awesome! So we finally... I, I was like really not even expecting that. That's so cool. Can we subsidize now? Oh sweet, we subsidize all our factories. Oh thank god. Now we're gonna make so much freaking money. Um... Farming efficiency, sure, let's do that. And I bet you we can foreign invest now, too. Sweet! Let's open all of Belgium's factories, because, you know, the more that we foreign invest in them, the more that they're gonna, you know, like us and be in our... we can get them in our sphere easily. Let's make sure that we invested in Denmark, too. Let's see, but there's no... we can't just open all their factories for them in one button. But it's okay, they only have, like, two rows, three rows. Glossia Lomardia is not in our sphere anymore, or do they just not have uh, factories? Galicia Lodmaria. I Oh, their government probably doesn't let... Yeah. Alright, well, that sucks. They're communists. Oh, well. That's fine with me. I don't give a crap. 
Let's see, we got some rebel factions organizing. We need to suppress the liberation movements, but the other ones will leave. The German people have spoken. Suppress it, damn it. Cultural movement, sure. Do whatever you want. Just, um, you know, just don't bother me. But man, I cannot believe that the uh, that our government won. Look, we're making even more money now. Truly tis. Oh, because we have to tax at a certain percentage. Wow. That's lame. There we go. We'll just make 6,000 now. So we can tax the middle or poor a little bit less. But still, we're doing really well. What are we doing over here? Oh, we can upgrade all of our factories. Sweet. We are going to have the bis biggest freaking economy now that we can spend our money on stuff. Even if it's only for just a little, a few years. I mean, we're just going to upgrade the crap out of everything and get amazing factories. I mean, just look at that. We're so, such powerhouses over here. I have retired intellectual. Ooh, more research points? A little bit more consciousness, but it's okay, because we've actually done a really good job of keeping our consciousness down, which is, like, the goal. Let's build some more submarines. Can you build them in Europe, please? Built 19 more submarines, and it still are 9 more submarines, and it didn't do anything, so let's build them in Asia, then. Alright, so that's, yeah, let's, let's cancel some of these guys in Asia. Until it doesn't say it's red anymore. Wow, I, I bet you we could only build one more. Yeah, there we go. There's only one more. Oh well. We got electrical lighting. That's cool. Let's go check on Asia, by the way. Just to make sure that our guys aren't just standing there taking attrition or something. Alright, well, we'll merge these guys up. Split them into two units. There we go. That's, that's a good spot for them, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like all our boats are... Oh, good. We've, it's December. All right, let's, uh, let's research this one just because it's low, and we'll probably finish that in just like two, three months. Yeah. Ooh, an international crisis has finally come in Latvia. All right, stop. Russia asks us to back their side. No, we're going to go back on... Um, we're going to back Latvia. Come on, Latvia. Ask me. Ask me, please, Latvia. Latvia, I will, I will so hardcore join you for your liberation. Please, dear God, ask me. Oh, yeah, we got Workshop of the World again. Spain wants to give us an alliance. Okay, sure, fine, Spain. We're not going to go into your dumb wars, though. So we need to operate. Yeah, let's gain some more militancy. That's fine. Come on, Latvia, ask me to be on your side, damn it. Why did Russia call me in? Support. Oh, damn. Come on, let me be on this side. Let me support you. Russia asked me. I swear to God it said Russia, so... Alright, we're gonna get more militancy. Come on, ask me, Latvia. Latvia, we've been waiting for this for so long. Come on. Give it... Ask me, damn you. I swear, or get somebody else to back you, for God's sake. I don't know why it's not asking me. <gasps> Russia asks us. Oh, that's why. Because the damn thing was pop up was still there. There we go. Proceed. Crisis averted. Are you serious? Come on, I enlisted right away. Why? Oh, well. What? That's so stupid that we, like, come on, we wanted to go to war so bad. Oh, well. I wonder why Russia looks like a great power, but they're not. It's weird. Oh, well, we're going to increase our opinion in Poland. Even though they don't want to be our friend, we're going to make them be our sphere anyways. I guess we'll get these research points, or should we get some other stuff first? Like education, or maybe, um, how about let's get market so we can get some more education efficiency because that's going to be really health effective on, you know, more research points. So we're just trying to get every advantage we can for later on. So yeah, we built pretty much all the uh, Navy bases we can, right? Gotta make sure all the time that you're building your Navy bases up still because Navy bases are the key to colonizing. 
Looks like we're good for right now, but it will be needed to do more soon. Hmm. Yeah, let's get that to wool. That's fine. Can build some more navy now. I mean, we sure got a lot of submarines, but I wonder how, how are we comparing to UK? We can just keep the time going right now. I don't think I need to think about that or watch that right now. Ooh, Carl Kynes, more prestige, sweet. So we are really just like amazingly far ahead. We have 4,000. The United States of America is like coming up. Who are these guys at war? Who's UK at war with? UK is at war with uh, some of these Mogulistan. Okay, yeah, we don't care about that. Uh, China is over Korea. Oh, sh they're losing. I'm pretty sure Korea is, yeah, they're civilized, so they got better troops. Interesting. Dutch swallows, swallows, what? Whatever. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. So we want to see the UK's amount of ships. So the ship, they have 509. We have two, we almost 300. So we're going to get there. We are going to rival the UK soon in ship count if we don't, as long as we keep, you know, if we could keep taking stuff from France, keep m more ports. We need more ports like every time because that'll be awesome. So we already have Gambia. So it, there's no point in taking this from them because we already have the port here. We already have something in Singal where we have a port too. So there's no, this is un irrelevant to take from France but like these things over here would be good to take from them because we get more ports like the Congo although we already have the boss Congo but I'm pretty sure it's different yeah it's like a different region so we could build another thing there so like hopefully we'll be able to get this I'd really hope to get this but I mean we're gonna go to war with UK soon anyways hmm so we can add somebody to our sphere, or increase our opinion. Let's increase our relations here with the Netherlands. Belgium, we're going to get to friendly. Netherlands, you want an alliance, my friend? We have the relations for an alliance if he so chooses to accept one. But he might not. Actually, I don't think he's actually... He's not allied with... Well, he's allied with France, so we'll see. What, do we take it? Oh, yes, they will. Okay, cool. So good thing Netherlands took that because now we'll have some extra. Yep, there we go. We got a super good relations with them now. So we should have an easy time trying to screw them. And if not, we'll just go fuck France up again. Military access. Uh, who are you at war with? South Peru, Paraguay. The United States of America. Good luck. Decline. So we're still making a buttload of money. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I guess we'll invest in Russia a little bit more in that one state just to make it for Latvia to be better. But I can't believe the crisis thing didn't tick. I guess because the power needed to take over. Russia couldn't, since it's not a great power, it can't be its own great power, you know? You know? You know? You know. But still, that's like, come on. Freaking Latvians. We were going to let you free, but they're like, nah. Nah, it's okay. Oh well. So, can we build any more army? Yes, we can. Let's build some more guards. Could always use some more guards. Where's our thing? Is this the rally point? Alright, let's take these guys, split them up, and send them over to here. Just to have some troops on the border there. Yep, so let's keep on powering through here. I know it's like kind of boring because we're not being able to go to war all the time, but maybe we'll go to war with Italy or something. Get rid of our border with them. Sure, Venezuela. USA, you can have military access too. Let's go ahead and offer just for kicks. Hmm. I wonder why. We could justify war with them, but I don't see why there's a point to fight them. What's their, uh... Oh good, we got our thing, but we have way more ships than they do, that's true. And way more brigades. If you look, uh, our brigades are 577. What's the UK's brigades? 390, oh yeah, so we still, we have way more brigades in the UK too. They just have a little, little their, their navy is still saving them though. So we should get a little bit more education efficient, I guess. That's gonna finish when? May of next year, not so bad. Especially for such a high tech. Yeah, we're doing really well. 
with our research points because we're just we got so much literacy and everything is great. Serbia's got some stuff going down. It sucks. Poor Serbia. Let's see if we can't uh, upgrade any of our stuff. Cool, factory cost went down, so... I wonder why we haven't got any projects yet to invest in. I haven't seen any. Let me look at my... What's my party do? We can do everything? Yeah, this is just like being regular conservative. We're just conservatives. It's not so bad, even. Conservatives are good. I like them. So we can pump up Netherlands to something. No cordial in the Netherlands. We'll soon have our sphere over Belgium. Our infamy is going down. I really want my infamy to be as low as possible, just because at the end, like when we start to have great wars, we want to really just go kill people all day. Oh good, population increase. That's nice. What's what? It says I have war exhaustion? Really? What is that? Oh. So we got some blockades? What? That's really weird that we got all these blockades. Hmm. Can build some more submarines. Let's just build them all in Europe because it's just going to be faster. The Danes of Schleswig are not a threat. Ooh. Sure. I don't mind getting a little bit of stuff. Some people want something. Let's give them small endowment. That's fine. Especially since we're at the helm. Anyways, let's see if we can't build more navy. Nope, that was one too many. Alright, cool. So, we're gonna have our beast navy now. Look at that, 303 ships just all right here. We got 117, I think these are all, yeah, the, the 117 is the uh, submarines. Yep, all these submarines. And we got a bunch of steam transports, so yeah, hundred almost a hundred steam transports too. So we could just like drop all the shit down on UK when we go to war with them. Ooh, upper house rearranged. Okay, cool. Lose one level in Saxony of railroads, or hmm, yeah, why not? Just Saxony loses one level of railroad. There we go, we'll just put it back. It's not that big a deal. Not at all. More money from our things. Ooh, look at that! An heir is born. Less consciousness, less militancy, and more people that support... Oh, sweet. Look at that, we're so pretty. <laughs> Until next year. I don't know, maybe we should go to war with France, because I think our first great war is actually going to be against UK as soon as we can declare it. And then France will just maybe... Because I, I would really like to dismantle UK. It's really pissing me off. Trade goods and change the fruit. Alright. So, I figure, what what should we do first to... um Like, we're pretty much going to get to be able to colonize almost immediately, as soon as it becomes 1900. I'm pretty sure there's... I, I don't know if there's anything that we need to do, right? Let's just make sure. I think the thing we don't have yet is the uh, the Dark Continent. Which is the only thing that's hurting us right now is the uh, is the fact that it's the years before 1900. So as soon as that happens, we're going to be get good to go. Let's uh, give ourselves a little bit more relations with Poland. We're not friendly there. Let's give the United States uh, war subsidies. 
to help them against France. I wonder how they're doing over there. Yeah, it looks like the USA is invading down here. Good for them. How unfortunate. No, my communist strongholds. Let's see, what, what's our party loyalty here? Wow, so com conservative over here. Very interesting. What's about, what about in China? I guess they don't even care because they're all neutral because they're the colonies. Perfarian, look at that. That's us, German, yay! <laughs> Uh, replace it with spices. What's the most valuable thing right now? Silk, it looks like. Or no. Clipper convoys. Or no. Steamer convoys. That's what's most valuable right now. Wow, 120 pounds. That's really good. The Netherlands is accusing us of things we never even heard of. We suspect France is behind this. Of course it's France. Who else the hell else do you think it is? It ain't UK. UK is like, I don't give a shit. Look at all these fears and puppets I got already. You think I want more? Nah. But man, that's going to be so cool to dismantle them. Although it looks like they've already pretty much let loose a lot of these guys over here, because I'm pretty sure Hyderabad is uh, is one of the ones that they keep. Yeah, they've got some Bihari nationalists over there. Maybe they were forced to release it. I don't think the AI is smart enough to like release it though without like the a like without the the rebels. Like if I was the AI, I would like see a bunch of rebels down there and just be like, okay, well that means I should release them so that they don't you know rebel. At least they'll still be in my sphere. But the AI is too dumb to do that, probably. Oh well. So yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get pretty far this episode. I'm wondering what we should do to pass the time. You know, maybe we could go to war with Italy or France again. Our France truce is gone. So we could justify war to what? You could get the place in the sun. Acquire state or place in the sun. Hmm. I like, but I'm really, I, I'm just so like, why? We're not gonna want to get any. That's why I was so excited when I saw that they were gonna have a crisis over here because I really wanted to fight over there. Sucks. Kaboom! So yeah, we're gonna get into the next crisis. That's why I wanted to get in the crisis so bad is because it comes with a free Casas Bali. Oh. You guys... You guys going? Oh good. Having this canal here in Kiel is really cool because they can just go through. They don't have to go all the way around, I guess. Which takes a lot longer, apparently. So it's really nice that they can just go through. So yeah, it's really confusing how, like, this is like kind of dead 10 years. I wish we had more stuff to do, but sadly, holy shit, is Canada a great power? What? Uh, let's let our people witness our strength. But holy shit, look at that, Canada is a great power. How did you do this, Canada? You have so much industry, wow. So we can gain some infamy. Sure, let's start that nationalization or whatever that is. Canada. So southern Quebec's got a lot of stuff, huh? That's cool. USA, what's your base? New York, Pennsylvania. Hmm. Oh, good. Rec recession is gone. Sweet. See, I really like UK has like 400. Like th that's the difference between the USA. Like if I took a state from the USA, it'd be like dumb because they don't. It only has like 100 and 200 uh, max industry. But if I took like London from the UK or something like that, ridiculous. Like that would be so much industry right there. It would be ridiculous. But sadly, you can't take their capital right away, so it probably was not going to happen the first time. Or maybe not even this entire game, because we're going to just focus on like dismantling their empires. Most likely. Hmm. 
maybe we'll even violate Sweden's neutrality. I, like, I'd really like to get bigger over here, but it's like, I don't know why or where, because we have, like, our culture, right? So what do we do now, you know? Let's see. Uh, spread the word, or it's too risky. The cause of freedom. An opportunity has risen. Democracy. If we should discover this could, oh, gain us infamy, but if we do not act, they will be seen as abandoned tyrants. Okay, uh, spread the word. We're going to help. So let's see, is there any, is there any German that's, like, not in our country? No, not really. There's some South German over here in Metz, but I wish there was more. Thank goddamn Swiss. 100% Swiss over here. So weird. But yeah, I guess we really don't have these down here, but we do have the cores, which is the whole point. We don't have any cores over here, do we? No, it's just because Austria used to exist here, we got the cores for them. So that was kind of nice. Wonderful model colony with the opportunity for colonies. Oh, sweet. Wow, look at all this stuff. Gain a bunch of research points, get some lose militancy and lose consciousness. Nice. That's really cool. Maybe we could release Croatia from Hungary. <laughs> That'd be funny. Our military leader has died, sadly. Can build some more army. Yay, more army. Alright, let's uh let's go for Cav this time. We're gonna get some dragoons and some crossiers. How about that? Can do another thing. People want a thing. I don't know. We only got two more different little things to do. Once we finish them, I don't know what the people are gonna just be like. Uh, I guess we got everything we wanted. Let's see. Uh, maybe there's one of these that we can do. Oh, we need mass politics. Oh, we're out. Organize Nigeria. No, we don't have everything for that. Violating Swiss neutrality requires us to have war policy of jingoism. Oh, we just got our research done, too. Okay, good. Let's do, um... Time shaving measures. How about that? We can increase our influence in the Netherlands. We're now friendly with them. Did we just get knocked down? No, we just got discredited only. Maybe we should just go to war with them for humiliate real fast or something. I don't know. Just crush them really fast so that they can't do anything. But, I mean, their military is pretty powerful. Man, I just don't know what to do. Maybe we could puppetize, like, Sweden and Norway? I don't know. Or Finland, even. Could free them. How's the flashpoint tension over here in Latvia? Oh god, they've like, been stomping it out. Oh, 52% here. Yeah, let's put another Latvian uh, thing over here. Can stop encouraging soldiers in one of them, I guess. Let's open up their factories for them, so that they, you know, will have some industry when they start out. Uh, let's try again. No reason not to waste a little bit more money. Huh. We sure have enough money. That is definitely short. It's too bad there's no more states in Africa either to take over. Oh well. We did a good job, I think, you know, stealing, stealing off. So, just except for the one exception of here. But, you know, we'll try our best, but I doubt we're going to be able to get this one or this one or even this one. But luckily, we'll be able to probably get the middle ones without too much issue. So, Belgium. Our outdoor sphere. And we're going to also finish time-saving measures. And we're going to do investment banks then. Got some more throughput and cigarette help. Yay, cigarettes! Uh, no. Cigarettes are bad for you. So how f close are we to, like, the next, um, 
military power. The United States is the one behind us, and they're at 440, and that's only because they're at war. France is no longer, or sorry, UK is not at war, and they've only got that much, so we're pretty good. Well, if we go to war, we're going to have, like, massive amounts. All right, so, yeah, spread the word. Oh, wow. We shall see if this leads into anything. Ooh, yay, are we going to get into a free war? That's going to be cool. Yay, war. Someone declare war. <laughs> What you gonna do about it, Egypt? Egypt, you wanna go? You wanna go? So, let our peace be. Yeah, let's do the, like, losing consciousness thing, please. Even though we gained a little bit of militancy, that's gonna go away pretty fast. Like, see how our militancy goes away? Our consciousness is going up because of our infamy means of protection and the ivory tower thing. So if we didn't have the ivory tower thing, we'd probably be going down. But it's okay, that'll go out of the way soon. Netherlands has banned our, band, our ambassadors. Oh no. Let's make sure that their troops are just hanging out in Africa like they should. Looks like they are. Is this the uh, rally point? One of these is. I swear it is. Or not. Fine, whatever. Brilliant. Some more mine sizes. Good. Let's build another submarine. Oh no, we actually maxed out. Sorry. Yeah, I cannot wait until we get the new boats over here. Like, for instance, cruisers. I don't know why we have cruisers. Don't have cruisers yet. We have steam turbine ships, I'm pretty sure. No, actually. Yeah, all this stuff happens in 1990. So we don't have to do anything for colonization. So we gotta. We should probably pick what we're going to invent first. I think we should invent uh, mass politics. Because that's going to give us the chance to invent the Great War. Or give us the Great War right away. I'm not sure which one it does. But yeah, I think we're going to do mass politics first. And we're going to change it to two spices. We're going to outfit an expedition, of course. Keep on going, guys. We need to get to that pole. I don't care if it takes eternity, we're gonna get to there. Hopefully before anybody else, too. Integral rail system would be good too, but culture, I think the mass politics is the most important thing. It's nice that we have this like these few years to catch up. And it looks like we'll probably yeah, we have January nineteen ninety nine, we're gonna finish that. So we'll probably finish like exactly when we're supposed to. So uh Poland can be added to our sphere. Now will they forced to be taken our ally alliance? Will they be forced to take an alliance now? I hope. Brilliant. Poland, be my friend. I wanted to be friends with you so much. You seriously? But you're my friend. Why can't you be Congress Poland anymore, you little shits? We released you on purpose so you'd be Congress Poland. You're like, nah. Nah, it's okay. So is there Latvian movements up here, too? Ooh, add a sphere constant spell against Canada. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, considering that they're a great power, yeah, I don't think it actually works like that, dude. Although they are going to fall off, because they say that it says they're level 9. Ooh, tax reforms, and then let the shipment and gain mafia. mafia. Or stop the shipment and gain militancy. Let's stop the ship shipment. We don't want mafia. Just try again. Let's see who's Canada fell off to Hungary. Hungary and Canada are fighting over the spot. Hungary has got 577. Oh yeah, they're like really neck and neck. If they do, if one of them goes to war or something, then that's gonna make it easily the other one of the other. See if we can't build more army. Could probably build more ships now too. All right, so let's do that. Uh, we'll say we uh, let's not let's we can lose two prestige. That's fine. I think I'd rather keep my people happy at this point. 
So let's build some more submarines in Europe. Why not? We'll need submarines, you know, to be the bulk of our navy when we're fighting in, you know, because we will need light ships also. These, all the rest of the ships, cruisers, dreadnoughts, and uh, battleships are all great big ships. So it's going to be nice to have submarines. So I guess we're going to get more separatist again. No, nope, just until next year. So yeah, we're almost about to finish. Yep, 22nd of January, we'll have finished central bank money. And we're going to try to get the last one, but I doubt we'll actually get it. So let's try to get our score to zero. Hmm. Oh wow, so we had exactly room for nine. That's weird. Oh, Ireland declared independence again? Alright, fine. We're going to invest in their factories for them. Ireland. And we're going to give them more subsidies, too. Because they're probably cheap, anyways. So let's, let's start influencing Ireland. I would really like to get them in my sphere, because then we can keep them, you know, from the being sucked back into the UK, which will make the UK weaker. I mean, it's, I think Ireland's not that great. I mean, they only have 16 industry, but, I mean, hey, you know, anything to help hurt them. Cool. Alright, so we're going to start influencing them. Good, we got our thing done. Now let's see, can we do one of these? I guess we should do this one. Can we, will we finish by the 1900? Oh yeah, we will finish before that, actually. So good. Uh, what do the people want? We'll do that again. I mean, I swear we're like almost done with this. We don't know what to do after this. I don't know what to do after this. They're going to run out of stuff they want. And so I think what we're going to do this episode, guys, I'm going to go all the way just to 1900 just so that we can start off the next episode like ready to go doing stuff. I'm sorry that this was such a boring episode. I mean, it wasn't necessarily boring, it's just very administrative, it was how I would put it if I was going to be nice to myself, you know, but I feel like this, maybe these 10 years need to be revisited or looked at in the Pop Demand mod, because it just seems kind of boring, I don't know, if this is this how all games are, it just happens to be mine, probably just happens to be mine because, you know, we just don't really have much to do. I'm sure maybe if you had a smaller country or something like that, you'd be at war all day, every day maybe. Looks like we got some rebels. What are they doing? Are these good rebels or not? No. Let's uh, let's send this fifty-one stack in. Oh, they don't even they won't even let us help them. So fuck you, I guess. So let's do lavish expedition and the conference. Seventy-five prestige, and then we're gonna lose twenty-five prestige, but we get a bunch more research points. So that's good. Now, poor Poland. This is unwise or is wise? Yeah, let's get the farming efficiency. Ooh, we should form an alliance with them. Maybe they'll call, call us into their war. We're gonna outfit another expedition. Ireland will come a puppet. That's stupid. So Ireland's already 20%. So we need to get them to friendly opinion of us for us to intervene. But I think they'll probably take an alliance if we can get them up there. Poland's doing a pretty good job taking care of their rebels. But Ireland, I want to be your friend. We don't have enough relations yet? Okay. There we go, we got military access from you. How about we give you military access too? I wish we could see. Didn't we just get military access from you? Why can't you show me your vision? I guess we had an alliance. Alright, well I guess we could get our boats over here, right? Let's take the uh, the boats to our port here. 
hopefully, what I'm hoping is that, you know, even though we only have 300 ships and UK has 500, is that their 500 ships are spread out between their, like, little empire over here and everything back home. So hopefully we'll just be able to mop up what's home, wait for their other ships to come, mop them up as well. That's my hope. Let's upgrade all their factories, too. All right. Still won't accept. Ireland has allowed military access, right? Yep. They lost their army, apparently. Come on, Ireland. You can do this. Let's build them some factories here so they can have stuff to do, maybe. Those clippers, let's actually build them a steamer. I think the steamer will do really well. Right, isn't there a steamer? Steamer shipyard or something like that? Steamer convoy. Hmm. I guess we'll just build the die or paper mills. Steel factory will do well. We'll just build them three. We don't want to get them too much to handle at once, you know. So look at that. They got 69 ships here. I don't know. I think we might have them. And we got to make sure that the ships that we build aren't sneaking around out here by themselves. Alright, Ireland, come on, call me in. So, can we join them? They love us. Oh, we need to, we need to move our inv- okay. Now I understand what they mean. Okay, hopefully they'll call us in, though. Yeah, let's just go the, uh, yeah, we're not profiteers. Let's hopefully get this uh, thing going with them. Please call me in Ireland. I would love to come and help you right now. Huh. Let's uh, let's remove military access from them so that we can uh. Maybe that's why they're not able to ask us to come in. We're gonna go on a whistle stop tour. We got our thingy, and it's only July, too. We can do the National Banking Act. And can we get management strategy before the end of February 22nd? Okay, I think that's worth the wait. Come on, Ireland. Call me in, boy. Call me in, buddy. Call me in, dog. They don't have any war goals. No, oh, poor Ireland. I so would love to help you, man, but you, I can't. I just can't because they're gonna. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry, Ireland. Oh, it sucks. It really sucks to be Ireland right now. But I would free you so hard. It, what's weird is that they're not trying to... England is not trying to annex them. They're just trying to get them puppetized. Oh, great elections. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I'm trying to freaking get to 1900 right away, and that's it. Well, all right. So we're not going to get to 1900 of, of this episode, guys, but it's September 17th already, so next time it should be really fast to get to the 1900. Anyways, I'll see you guys in that episode where we're going to kick some ass in Africa, maybe freaking destroy the UK. That'll be awesome. Free Ireland. Yeah. Go Ireland. Hopefully they'll call us into a war maybe or something. Anyways, like I said, thanks so much for watching. See you guys later. Spray and pray out.